Let's make fishing spear. I start with the strings across my palm and, around, and behind both pinky and thumb on both sides. Using my right finger, because I'm right-handed, I hook this down a little bit on my left side and I spin it around twice. Then, making that loop at the top there bigger, I pull that bottom palm string taut. And from here, all you have to do is let go of my right side because that's where I started, thumb and pinky. Here is fishing spear. A long stick with three sharp pieces of bone or ivory attached. A long time ago, if you were out on a trip and you needed food for tonight, dinner for tonight, you didn't need to catch a lot of fish, only enough to eat for tonight. So that's why a fishing spear was useful. Now, the way I tell this story, every fisherman tells two types of stories. In this story, the fisherman is telling you how big his fish was. So to make the fish from fishing spear, with my right hand, I untwist. So I reverse twist from the first way. And I put my hand through and I grab the pointer finger on the left side. And I'm going to hold on to that. And this string that's on the back side of my right hand now, I'm going to let it come off. And now you have to extend and tidy up the figure. So I use my mouth there to move that center part of the fish towards the center. And there's a fish that you caught with your fishing spear. And because every fisherman tells two types of stories, and in this story they're telling you how big their fish was, every anytime a fisherman is telling you how big their fish was, in reality, that fish was only that big. That's how to do fish and fishing spear.